So why do we mark birds? Perhaps it's the sublimation of the hunting instinct. We like to go out and hunt things or catch things. And if we can do it without actually harming them, that's, that's even better. And I'm sure there are many bird ringers who have that sort of instinct uh, that are less concerned about the scientific value of what they do um, than they are about actually doing it. And maybe I was one myself once. But the fact is that banding or ringing birds is a very useful thing to do. Originally, of course, people were interested in where birds moved to because people who lived in northern countries like the UK, where it's miserable for half the year, wondered where all the swallows went and so on. So one of the initial impetus for ringing birds was to find out where they go. But what is really important is that putting a ring also enables us to distinguish among individuals. And that has enormous value for, for researchers. Um, so using rings we can distinguish among individuals and this is important for various ecological or behavioral studies and there are all sorts of other things that can be done, studying life history, population, survival, mortality, and so on, by using rings. And also by using this nets or using standardized catching methods in different habitats, it's a good way of uh, comparing bird communities uh, alongside the obvious way of using your eyes and counting them. And, and the hand loosely wrapped around the body. And a bird can be su surprisingly relaxed if it's handled in this manner. This is the normal way to handle a small bird. With bigger, with bigger birds, you have to use different techniques. If you're ringing geese, you probably tuck them under your arm because they're big things. But anyway, this is the ringer's grip uh, in use for small birds, including most waders. And if you're right-handed, the metal ring you see on the lower uh, tarsus and the upper ring is a colour ring which is, uh, identifies the country of origin because uh, yellow-breasted bunting is an endangered species and uh, there's a lot of interest in uh, uh, finding out more about this, this bird. The chances, of course, that a yellow-breasted bunting ringed in Thailand with a green colour ring is going to be seen by anybody in the wilds of Siberia are infinitesimally small, but the fact is that Having a metal ring correctly fitted and a colour ring above that causes the bird no discomfort whatsoever and the bird can carry on its activities normally. And this is important. We must always have the welfare of the bird as our first consideration. Many populations, you may want to collect additional data on biometrics or body measures. Uh, this is somebody measuring the length of the tarsus, um, or more correctly, the what is it? Tar tars tarso metatarsus, but what we call the tarsus, the lower leg, if you like, um, measuring uh, the minimum um, uh, length of the tarso metatarsus on this plover, using a dial, a metric dial caliper, and we can do various measurements on the head. This is combined. Uh, uh, total head, as we call it, head and bill combined, but many people will just measure bill exposed, either as exposed colman, the exposed part of the bill beyond the feathers, or more usually bill to skull. There's an oriental dwarf kingfisher being subjected to the same procedure. This colour protocol was um, developed about nine, soon, a, soon afterwards when uh, they decided uh, they wanted to apply colour bands in other countries. Because Australia was the major country in which leg flagging was done, of course the Australians have many colours uh, to use, and also because it's a large country with a lot of shoreline and there are many different sites, so they, they have the best, the largest choice of colours, uh, leaving us with the, res the rest of us in the flyway with, with a restricted range of colours. But since they invented it, I suppose it's their right. Record malt on a, a scale of zero to five. Zero is an old, worn, unmalted feather. Five is a fully grown, new feather. Um, and there are intermediate stages depending on how much growth. A, miss, a missing feather, or a feather that's fully in pin, is scored as one. Um, and 
and uh, a, a feather that's, that's nearly full grown. You have to look carefully. It's still got some waxy uh, base here with score of four. But the secondaries are molted uh, from the outermost secondary, molted, 